Today I want to show you how to record or measure horsepower with HP tuners by using a pretty simple formula. I'll show you how to enter it. We'll talk a little bit about the formula, how we get there, and then I'll show you a couple of examples of it. So let's go ahead and talk about the formula. But before we get into the actual formula itself, we need to define a couple of things so we understand what we're inputting here. Horsepower is just a, a foot pound per second unit of power, and it's equivalent to 550 foot pounds per second. So what we do is we need to de define horsepower, which is the 550 foot pounds per second, using torque, which is pound feet in engine RPM. So we're going to divide that 550 by what's called radians, and radians is a per second engine speed formula and that is 0 0.10472 so we'll divide the 550 by that 0 0.10472 which equals 5252 so when we look at the formula here rpm times torque divided by 5252 will give us the output, which will be horsepower. So this is the formula that we're gonna plug into HP tuners, and now we kind of understand where the 5252 comes from, and that we're measuring torque, or excuse me, horsepower with RPM and t engine torque. We can kind of see it all, how it all fits together. So now that we understand what that mathematical formula is, we'll take a look at where to put it into HP tuners. However, before you start to do that, here in VCM Scanner, you need to make sure that you are recording these two values, the engine RPM and the engine torque. Those are the two that you need to combine and divide to make horsepower. So you have to be data logging these to get this to work. So once you open up uh, your VCM Scanner, you've made a data log. Uh, you can go to Tools math parameters and what that will do is we'll open up a series of predefined and user defined fields where you can either take a look at in the predefined stuff of all of these different types of fields now these are the common things that people tend to data log here's injector duty cycle you can look at fuel trims AFR stuff you can search through there and find it if you're trying to log something specifically if you don't see it, you can add your own deal here. So we're going to add in the horsepower formula that we just talked about. So let's click on user math one and that will do is it'll bring up a value box here where we can enter in some information. So the first thing we need to do is we need to name it. So let's just call this one horsepower. And we'll give it an abbreviation because it'll abbreviate it in the uh, in the fields, uh, the channel field. So here in the notes, you can put your own notes on what you want to say about it. I don't usually use it, uh, but it's there if you want to. Now the expression is we're gonna where we're gonna enter in that value or that mathematical formula we talked about here just a minute ago. So to do that, we're gonna click on new variable, and then we're gonna insert the variable that we're looking for. So when you pull this up, it'll bring up every value that HP tuners can record that you can dump into there. So up here at the top where it says text filter, you can just start typing what you're looking for. So the first value we're gonna look for is RPM. If you type in RPM, you're gonna get a lot of different types of values in here. I don't typically fight this, even uh, even though you may uh, see all these different values and not quite sure what, what to use. If you double click on this first one, which is engine RPM SAE, which is also over here in this left hand column. If you double click on that to add it, HP tuners will ask you if you want to use that. You would select a, a parameter that is also defined as a generic sensor, meaning it is already recording it. And do you want to use that? HP Tuners is telling you that they have, that they will look for the best value within there to use. So I always click yes, sounds good. It'll bring up the engine RPM, our engine speed here up here at the top, so the sensor. You click OK, it'll add the value in here down in the expression. And it'll also give you the ID down here. So if you want to take a look at it, it'll tell you exactly what the name of that value is. So we have the engine RPM. 
then we're just going to hit the multiply sign and then we're going to enter in the next value insert again our next one was torque so you can type in torque or start to type it in and it'll give you a ton of different types of torque delivered engine torque actual engine torque whatever uh, it doesn't matter which one same thing again you can double click here on the delivered engine torque and it's going to ask you the same thing do you want to use what we're using in a generic type sensor or do you want to use that defined one that you just defined there again i'd rather use a generic sensor because it'll read what's going on over here hp tuners kind of picks the right one essentially is what that boils down to yes sounds good engine torque sensor pound foot of torque that's what we want okay then it'll add the second part of the value then if you remember we have to divide by 5252 and that will give us the horsepower equation that we figured out earlier now you don't have to save this you can save this if you want to save it as a uh, a regular um, uh, math parameter listing or or file if you want to open it back up again you don't have to do anything else here once it's entered in it's entered in you can x this box out and you're done now i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to move this over so we can take a look a little bit bigger uh, better uh, value of this chart here take a look at the chart a little bit bigger um, now that you've already got it here in the tools and the math parameters you need to add it down here into this channel now if you right click on it and hit charts layout it will show you these groups group one has retard ect uh, mass airflow sensor group two group three and so on I created a fifth group to add in here so we can put horsepower in there individually. So if you click on group five, highlight it, go up here, you can add a new series. This is a group. These individual ones underneath it are called series. So we've highlighted group five. Let's click on series. Now it opens up a new series underneath group five. Again, we want to click to insert what we're looking for and now all we have to do is start to type out what we named it in our uh, user defined field so it was horsepower there we go user defined horsepower double click on that it will add it to it now you if you just click this off and go play it you're not going to see it in there because it hasn't defined what the horsepower range is i know this truck fairly well I know it's not over 500 horsepower, so 500 is going to be our max. In this limits column, max and min, I never set a min. I always leave it at zero. Uh, sometimes you can if you're just trying to look at a certain range of horsepower, like, say, 500 to 750 or something like that. But for here, we're going to take a look at the whole range of the horsepower. So here, I know it's not over 500. I'm going to add in 500 you can hit enter if you want. You don't need to. There again, once the value is in there, it's done. You can exit out and leave it. Now, when you go down here, you can see that horsepower has populated and you can scroll through the engine RPM. Look at RPM. You can look at delivered torque and now the horsepower that's being delivered. And now you're recording and giving a value to horsepower through this entire pull uh, here, which was a, a highway pull, if I remember right, from uh, low speed to 96, 95 miles per hour. So, very again, very simple, very easy way to, to kind of look at horsepower on your own. If you're doing some tuning changes, adding headers or a cold air intake, uh, and you're tuning for it, and you want to kind of see how you're changing this horsepower number here, you don't have access to a dyno, you're doing a little bit of tuning before you get to the dyno, this makes a really, really nice, easy way of measuring horsepower. So there again, I hope you found something you liked in this video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up. Don't hesitate, uh, subscribe, ask any questions. Uh, I'm gonna try to keep adding more to this HP Tuner series. Every time I see something that would be useful for a very beginner user, in the platform. So anyway, I hope you liked it. We'll catch you next time. Thanks.